Let's play the game in Yuna Bingo. Can you hold your water? Can you hold your nerve? This is Innuendo Bingo. Can I just say thank thank the gods of sport for today's Innuendo Bingo because there's a lot of sport that happened over the weekend and it's provided us with some great material. And thanks to you lot for spotting it. Anything you spot, send us an email. Rihanna Offer Films is here with Chris. Are we ready to take the first ready, big gulp of water? I'm really nervous. Why are you? Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like I haven't played with you for a long time, Chris. Yeah. I know, but we've, you've probably played this game the second most, thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, probably, but it's been a while and, you, yeah. You haven't done it together, have you? We haven't done it together. No, well, here we go. Here we go. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Get it down, yeah. And it was a big weekend of sport. Let's go straight in with this clip from the Grand National where AP McCoy is undergoing some final checks before taking his mount. Uh, <laughs> that's not one. They really are very thorough at Aintree, aren't they? You could just see AP McCoy standing motionless. He's just having his girth checked. I saw a nice shot of him. Was he supposed to have that checked or did the official just seize the opportunity? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lucky wow. official. I know. He's just having his girth checked. I saw a nice shot of him. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Paul in Newcastle for spotting that one. Oh, my teeth already hurt from how cold this water is. It's freezing cold. Oh, isn't it's it? so cold. Lauren and Dan are watching in Cornwall. <laughs> There's loads of people watching today. Okay, let's stick with this weekend sport and go over to the Masters, the golf. And Peter Alice is in the commentary seat and displaying his usual magical way with words. <laughs> Now, with, even without the TV pictures here, you can kind of picture what he's looking at. I certainly can. Oh, no. Short. Hit softly. 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 Oh, so this is a bit of a goblet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember how it goes now, Rihanna? Oh, no, it's Rihanna. all come screaming oh, no. back to me. <laughs> Sorry. What an eyeful he got there. Oh, this is a bit of a goblet. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Kerry, for spotting that one. That's a good one. <laughs> I like the fine spray of mist that I put all over you. Mm. Oh, Stop. it's a bit of a gobbler. <laughs> what was that? What sport was that? The golf. No! Yeah. I like the guy in the background just sounds soft. Soft. Oh, soft. More water, please. We will come back to sport, but for now, over to Flog It from Saturday evening. And the presenters... Mm -hmm gone to see a very nice man called Martin and have a go in his facilities. And they mm. <laughs> seem to be getting on very well. Like that, now ready? Yep. One big blend. Yep. <laughs> That's good. It's looking more like a light bulb at the moment. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting harder to come out that glory hole. <laughs> OK, Martin? OK. Um, yeah? Uh, how are you done? <laughs> yeah. All right there, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> As oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's an expert blower there. Um, <laughs> glass blowing. It's a dying art. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting harder to come out that glory hole. James in Cornwall emailed that to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. You can do the same if you spot anything good. <laughs> I feel like this show has got so much dirtier since it first began. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it has. What, this, this feature, or do you mean flog it? <laughs> I mean this feature. No. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting harder to come out that glory hole. It's only what's in your mind, Rihanna. It's, it's got not got dirtier at all. <laughs> and now we're going over to MasterChef from Thursday night. I think you're corrupting your listeners. Really not. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the clips that the listeners send in. <laughs> it's all innuendo. Not rude at all. MasterChef, then, from Thursday night. <laughs> and the producers have received strict instructions that the contestant, Paul, should not be left alone with any livestock. <laughs> what kind of instructions? <laughs> I'm sure that's against the rules. <laughs> Snorted. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, lads, yeah. ladies. 
Come on. Uh-huh. Paul. Uh. Don't leave him alone with the livestock. The final dish on the menu will be cooked by 44-year-old Paul, who is boning the guinea fowl. <laughs> <laughs> the guinea fowl was deboned <laughs> by Paul right there in front of everyone. The final dish on the menu will be cooked by 44-year-old Paul, who is boning the guinea fowl. <laughs> Robin Redding and so many more of you saw that. It looked like a tasty dish. I love that woman. <laughs> I know, great voice. I feel like I could totally do that. Oh, God. What, that voice? Yeah. You to totally could. I totally could talk about Hi. boning the guinea fowl. Now we're going back to the golf. Oh and one of the American commentators here... Slippery legs. Slip really slippery legs. Sorry, carry on. Who else? Me. Oh. I put my moisturise them and now that I can't actually cross them anymore. Oh. Sorry. It's just a side note. Back to the golf. One of the American commentators... <laughs> Has some very, Chris, you've messed yourself again. <laughs> you sprung a leak. You really have sprung a leak. <laughs> Come on, Chris. One of the American commentators on the golf has some very kind words to say about one of his colleagues. Look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. It's one of the most beautiful holes in all of golf. <laughs> Now that's a compliment. The brilliant, the brilliantly named Keen on email spotted that one. Thanks, Keen. Keen. <laughs> More water, please. Oh, no. oh, I'm so sorry, Chris. No, 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 it's fine. The great thing about Rihanna on this game always has and always will give as good as she gets. Absolutely. I try. A quick classic now from The Link. Now, if you've not seen that show, the game is to find the link between lots of different random words. Although in this clip, <laughs> Chris, you're leaking again. <laughs> in this clip, I think maybe they should have tried a little bit harder to make sure the list was in more of a, a random order. Let's see if you can find the link. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Gander. Jack. Cop. Gobbler. <laughs> oh god! Did you know that was coming? We ha we played that one before. Oh, you were like ready. Cock, gobbler. The link. <laughs> the link was that they were all male breeds of bird, oh. now, and gobbler, of course, is a male turkey. <laughs> so now we all know what Peter Alice was on about. Oh, it's a bit of a gobbler. <laughs> I know. You learn on this programme. You really do. It's education. It is. Tim and Shrewsbury's watching. And also Chris in Brighton. And Jay in Cornwall watching for the first time today because he's on his holidays. More water, please. Pretty wet down there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is drenched down here, mm. Mills. We're going over to the boat race now. On Saturday. Now, this female commentator seems to know the Oxford team rather well. And she does very well to keep going, really, with this distracting her. The wind and the tide working in opposition. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So many of you saw that and spotted it, so thank you if you emailed. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. Yeah, that's a technical <laughs> term. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> 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 this is so... <laughs> Brianna's lost it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. <laughs> oh no, we have broken. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. And relax. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Right. So quickly, we're going to go back to the golf. And here's Peter Alice, who this time is here to tell us 
Why these rounds of golf go on for so long? Oh, Dad, <laughs> concentrate. See, he's fiddling about with this 14 inch, and that's why the round stakes in towers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to fill up again. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We might have to uh, jump. I don't know what to do. Can we do one more is, is or not? This, this has happened to me before. But I never not like this. It's hyperventilating. Listen. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. Stop it! Oh no, the boss has just walked past. <laughs> Shaking his head, no less. <laughs> Shall we? I think. Do we get out of here, lads? <laughs> no, she can't. She can't continue. Right? Okay, we're going to have to stop this. Call it a day. Call it a day. Thanks very much for listening and watching. That was Rihanna from. No, I played the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> That was Rihanna from Films on Innuendo Bingo. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Come on, we need to crack in. Should we play a song? Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you soon, Rihanna.